This guide shows you how to speed up the menu animations on your 4K Fire TV stick. So what I mean is this sort of fading in and fading out there. So when I hold down the, the picture of the house, there you go, as you can see that fades in. So this guide shows you how to speed that up amongst other things on your 4K Fire TV stick. First of all, what we need to do is we need to press and hold the picture of the house on the remote until this menu appears, then let go. And we need to go across to settings. Once settings is highlighted, press the middle button on your remote control and you need to go down and across to My Fire TV. Press the middle button on the remote control with about highlighted we need to press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to network there. And what we need to do is we need to take a note of what it says underneath IP address. This is very important. Write it down because we're going to need this later on in the video. So as you can see, mine says 192.168.10.122. Don't write that down unless it tells you that on yours. Write whatever is under IP address on yours. Then press the uh, back button on the remote control once and then go down to developer options, press the middle button on the remote control to select that. Make sure that ADB debugging is switched on and make sure that apps from unknown sources is also switched on. If they're not switched on, switch them on now. So I'm just gonna switch on apps from unknown sources and then it's asking me to uh, confirm that. So I'm just gonna press the middle button again. I've just turned on ADB debugging. So I'm gonna keep pressing the back button until we go back to the main menu. The next thing we need to do is we need to ensure that we've got downloader. So uh, I'm just gonna hold the middle button on the remote until this menu appears, go into apps and we should find downloader just there. If you haven't got it, then see my video on how to download and install that. There should be a link to it up in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. Once you've done that, come back here and uh, we'll carry on. So go into downloader and then what we wanna do is we wanna press the up button on the remote control, then press the middle button on the remote control to get the keyboard up. And then we need to type tiny, T-I-N-Y dot C-C forward slash rem ADB. That's tiny.cc forward slash rem ADB, all in lowercase and no spaces. Then press the play pause button on your remote control and hopefully after a couple of seconds this screen should appear and then it should start automatically downloading. So there we go. What we need to do is we need to just press the right button on the remote control so that installs highlighted, then press the middle button on the remote control and it will start installing. So then we need to just press the middle button on the remote control once it's installed. And then we don't need to keep this here now. There's no reason for it. We, we've already installed it. So what we can do is we can press the right button on the remote control to highlight delete, then press the middle button, then press the left button on the remote control to highlight the second delete and then press the middle button. As I say, the Fire TV stick doesn't have a lot of space, so there's no point in filling it up with uh, an install file. And we need to highlight Home, so just make sure that Home's highlighted, and then press the Back button a couple of times more, and uh, we should go back to the main menu. So next thing we need to do is, right, okay, just press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control, and then we need to go into Apps, and then we need to go down to the remote ADB, which is that icon just there. Once that's highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control. OK, and we get this come up. So just press the middle button on the remote control. And we just need to type in this box here, local host. OK, and then we press the uh, we press the down button a couple of times and then press connect. OK, so it says it's connecting. Now, give it about 10 seconds. If nothing happens after 10 seconds, then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to restart the Fire TV stick. Now, don't worry, we can do that. Just give it a little bit of time. No, as you can see, it's longer than 10 seconds, so that's not going to do anything. So what we need to do is we need to press and hold the play pause button on the remote control and press and hold the confirm or select or OK button, whatever you want to call it, until you get this message come up on the screen that says your Fire TV stick is powering off, then let go. OK, the Fire TV stick will now restart. So give that a few minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back to it once the Fire TV stick has totally restarted. Okay, so my Fire TV stick is just starting up again. So I'm gonna grab my remote control once more, press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control until this appears, and then go across to apps, press the middle button on the remote control, and then we need to go back to this just here. Okay, so again, we've got local host in there. That should be fine. 
if we find that this time it doesn't work or it says it fails to connect, then what we need to do is where it says local host, we need to type the IP address that I told you to write down earlier. So let's just do that. So mine was that. OK, and then carry on follow the, following the instructions. So let's just go down to connect, press the middle button on the remote control. OK, and this time it now comes up, allow USB debugging. So what we need to do is we just need to go down. OK, and we can, if we want to, we can go down to where it says always allow from this computer and put a check mark in there or a tick in there. And then hopefully it shouldn't keep asking us to allow the USB debugging. I'm going to keep that off just for the moment, but it's entirely up to you. It might be easier if you do select it. So go down to OK, press the middle button on the remote control, and then you should get this shell come up. And what we need to do here is we need to type a command. So I'm just going to press the middle button on the remote control to get the keyboard up. And we need to type this in exactly. If you type this in slightly wrong, you could risk completely mucking up your Fire TV stick. It might be irreversibly damaged, so you might not be able to get it repaired. So do this at your own risk and only make sure that you do it if you're 110% sure that you can exactly copy commands. If you've got any doubts, then come out of this now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, first of all, settings space put space global space transition underscore animation underscore scale space 0, 0.0 so as i say make sure that you've checked this at least three times before running this command so that's settings space put space global space transition underscore animation underscore scale space zero full stop zero okay now once you've checked this at least three times that you've done this correctly then press the play pause button on the remote control okay and hopefully if you've done this right in the background there you should have this sort of grayed out prompt just there. Mine says Mantis. Now the second thing we want to do is we want to do another command. So we want to type settings space put global space window underscore animation underscore scale space 0.0. .0. So that's settings, space, put, space, global, space, window, underscore, animation, underscore, scale, space, 0, 0.0. And make sure you've checked this once again at least three times. Check the spellings, check the spacing, check everything. OK, and once you're sure that you've done this correctly, again, grab your remote control and press the play pause button on the remote control. And then... Let's just press the back button on the remote control there. And hopefully this is what we should see is we should see these two here. No error messages. If there's an error message, then you've done something wrong. So best try it again. OK, I'm just going to press the down button on the remote control so that um, our cursor's back down there. OK, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the middle button on the remote control to get the keyboard up. And then I'm just going to type exit. OK. And then I'm going to press the play pause button on the remote control and you'll get this connection terminated, stream closed. So press the middle button on the remote control and then press the back button and keep pressing the back button until we get back to the main menu there. And you'll notice here when I press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control, the menu will appear a lot quicker, as you can see there. And when I go into a menu, there's no fading between menus. So it is quite quick rather snappy now if you did want to put this back then press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control go to apps again press the middle button on the remote control go down to the remote adb press the middle button on the remote control and hopefully the settings should be here like they were before so just go down to connect 
and uh, press the middle button on the remote control. And if you didn't tick there, or always allow from this computer, this box will come up. So just go down to OK, press the middle button on the remote control. And what we need to do now is we need to, like I say, this is only if we want to put them back to the original settings. So we want to press the middle button on the remote control and we want to type settings space put space global space transition underscore animation underscore scale space 1.0 so that's settings space put space global space transition underscore animation underscore scale 1.0 as i say once again triple check this once you're happy you've put that in correctly press the play pause button on your remote control and then we need to change the other one that we changed earlier so we type settings space put space global space window underscore animation underscore scale space 1.0 so that's settings space put space global space window underscore animation underscore scale 1.0 then press the play pause button on your remote control once you've triple checked it and you're 110% sure that this is correct so and then we just press the back button on the remote control okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the middle button on the remote control to get the keyboard up and then I'm just going to type exit okay and then I'm going to press the play pause button on the remote control and you'll get this connection terminated stream closed so press the middle button on the remote control and then press the back button and keep pressing the back button until we get back to the main menu there and hopefully let's just try this again so let's just press and hold the picture of the house and as you can see it fades back in so there you go that guide showed you how to turn off animations in your 4k fire tv sticks menus to try and make things speed up a little hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching you can follow me on twitter at cw tech that's at cw tech on twitter and don't forget to check out my other videos in my youtube channel just google chris wait youtube and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel Thank you for your support.